Hi, this is Anil Vidyavadi tutorial for the learning lad on uh, how to speed up your computer without using any software. So in the beginning of this tutorial, I just want to clear that the tips that I'm going to give in this tutorial are not going to make your computer super fast or a super computer or you know, it's not going to do any impossible things. And I promise you that, you know, this tutorial is going to help you to improve the performance of your system. Okay, let's begin with why our computer becomes slow. So when you install a fresh copy of operating system to your computer, uh, your computer will be at its best or you know at that time your computer is going to give the maximum performance because you know you don't have any other software installed in your system. Okay, when you start installing the applications and use them, you know that your computer will slow down. So for this, there are many factors are responsible. So the main things that uh, are going to cause the slowness of your system are the running of some unwanted programs which uses memory and the processing time and some heavy running background processes in your system and also some temporary files which are also responsible for the slowness of the system. Okay, now we're going to see you know all these things in detail and then you know we're going to see how to solve this problem and uh, improve the performance or the speed of our system. So the first thing is about you know the unwanted programs which are gonna uh, use the memory and the processing time so when you install some applications in your system you know they have some uh, programs which are gonna start when you boot your computer or you know when you start your computer so that tiny little programs are gonna take some processing time and some memory so that your resources in your computer are not available to your you know main process so these tiny little programs are not so important to your system. For example, if you install JRE in your system, you know, Java Runtime Environment, then it's going to install a small application or small software which, which runs when you start your system and it checks for the latest update. So the softwares like these are going to take some uh, processing time and memory and they are responsible for the slowness of the system so and the next thing is you know some heavy running background processes such as animations themes etc etc so you guys can see in a modern days operating system such as windows 7 or windows 8 we can see a lot of uh, themes and animations are available and they are responsible for the awesome user interface so this beautiful interface also requires some processing time and memory for example if you guys are using windows 7 or windows 8 you guys can see you know the desktop background changes automatically or you guys can see some uh, you know the animation here so all these things are gonna take some processing time and uh, memory in your system you know which causes the slowness and the next thing is you know the temporary files so when you install some applications in your system you know and when you use that application you know that application is going to create some temporary files and also when you browse the internet there are a lot of temporary files will be downloaded to your system so your windows operating system is not going to delete all the temporary files you now which are no longer needed so uh, when you go on using your system, you know, the number of temporary files or the size of the temporary files increase in your system and uh, your computer will become slow. So we can say that, you know, the temporary files are also responsible for the slowness of the system. So the next thing is, you know, some people have a tendency to use a lot of uh, shortcuts or some data in their desktop. The desktop is a one location which we use uh, more number of times when you use your computer. So when you open up your desktop and if your desktop contains a lot of files then you know the system has to load all that files and the shortcuts and uh, you know it takes some time so that you know your computer becomes slow. So now we're gonna see you know how we can solve all these problems and you know speed up our computer. Okay the first thing is you know uh, don't keep too many files in your desktop. So you guys can see here in my desktop I have only shortcuts to my computer and a recycle bin so all the other applications which are installed in my system I can access them by going through the start or you know I can search them okay the next thing is about uh, the applications or the programs which run at the startup so you can check that uh, programs which run when you uh, start your computer by going to the task managers 
so you can open up your task manager by right clicking on your taskbar and selecting this task manager so you guys can see a tab here called startup and if I open up that you guys can see one software or one tiny little application called Adobe Acrobat Speed Launcher you know which will run you know when I start my computer so you know when uh, this kind of software run you know they they're gonna use some uh, processing time and the memories so to improve the performance what we can do is we can uh, disable all these tiny little applications when your computer starts so to do that you guys need to select that application and you guys need to click on that disable icon present here and that's it so you know uh, in the next time when I start my computer, you know all these programs actually I have only one program here You guys may have many programs, you know, they are not gonna start at the beginning Okay, the next thing is you know about Installing softwares so some people have the tendencies to install you know all the softwares or the applications available to them So what I suggest is don't install the unneeded softwares only install the software which are useful to you so you guys can check the installed software in your system by going to the control panel and in this programs programs and features so you guys can see here I have only three softwares installed in my system you know which I use more often and also you guys can uninstall the softwares which are uh, you know not needed for you by double clicking on them so don't install any software you know which is not needed for you okay the next thing is you know about some uh, heavy running background tasks such as you know I have explained about the themes and the desktop background changing etc etc so what you guys can do is you guys can uh, uh, set the settings you know which are best for the performance so to do that what uh, you need to do is you need to open up your my computer and right click and go to properties so here you guys can see a link to advanced system settings select that and uh, you guys can see performance so here you guys can change visual effects processor scheduling and uh, some many more issues so I'm gonna click this settings and uh, you guys can see a lot of options are available by default the system is it's gonna let the windows to choose the best settings for your computer so what we can do is if the performance is your main issue then you guys can check on this adjust for best performance and then you guys can click on this ok so what it's gonna do is it's gonna remove all the animations and all the visual effects and you know when those things are not gonna run you know your main applications will have more processing time and also you know some more memory available so to do that we guys need to click on this apply or you guys can select ok the next thing is you know about the temporary files so when we browse the internet you know there are a lot of temporary files will be downloaded to our system so what we can do is we can uh, delete all the temporary files at some periodic time for example once in a week or you know once in a day no problem okay to do that I want you guys to open up the run command I'm gonna press windows and R so it's gonna open up the run command so the first command that I want you guys to type is TEMP this command is gonna open up the folder which contains the temporary files of the system so hit the enter button so you guys can see some files are here so the thing you guys need to do is you guys need to select all the temporary files and delete them okay the next thing is you know open up the run command again and I want you guys to type percentage temp then percentage again click on this ok or hit the enter button you guys can see the temporary files of the user so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all this and we're gonna delete them so some files uh, will not be deleted because you know um, that files will be in use so we're gonna skip that okay so the next thing that uh, we're gonna do is we're gonna open up our run command again and I want you guys to type another command called prefetch 
and uh, click on this OK and you guys can see a lot of files so I want you guys to select all these files and delete them okay the last command that uh, I want you guys to type is called uh, recent so open up the run command and type recent R E C E N T and uh, hit the enter button or click on this OK so this recent command is gonna open up the folder which, which contains the links to the recent files and folders opened by the user so you guys can see the links here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of them and delete them okay so now we have uh, almost clear uh, uh, majority of the temporary files from our system and you know you guys can see all of them are in the recycle bin and the last thing that I want you guys to uh, teach you is open up your my computer and select the partition where you guys have installed your operating system mine is in the C drive and I want you guys to right click on it and select these properties and uh, here you guys can see a option called disk cleanup so just click on that so this disk cleanup is gonna delete all the temporary files and some uh, and some other unused files so here I want you guys to select all these options you know downloaded program files temporary internet files recycle bin setup log files temporary files code windows error report etc etc so you guys can see here 1 GB of unused files are present in my system and uh, you guys may have uh, more in your system so I want you guys to click on this ok and it asks whether you want to permanently delete these files so click on this delete files so it's gonna clear all that files so ok ok now uh, if you guys have done all the things that I have explained in this tutorial then uh, you know when you restart your computer uh, your computer is gonna be slightly better than its previous state so that's it guys thank you for watching and uh, this is how you can uh, speed up your computer just a bit without using any software and uh, you guys can like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and if you like this tutorial please share it and uh, i'll see you in the next tutorial